Okay, so what I wanted to do in this video is just give kind of a review and then a quick demo of the Microsoft RMS Store Operations point of sale solution. And we're going to focus specifically on just the point of sale side of the, uh, the software. Uh, over the last 15 years, I have to say, RMS, Microsoft Retail Management System Store Operations, long name, so we just call it RMS has really accounted for probably about 80% of the businesses that I've worked with across the country. Um, it, it's got some key advantages in that it, the flexibility is there, whether you're a museum, a bike shop, a automotive aftermarket place, apparel, garden center, it's just, it, it's extremely flexible. Microsoft did a good job of putting all the different um, different functions and features in there to make this program very adaptable. Uh, RMS is also very flexible, whether you're a small boutique doing two hundred and fifty or $300,000 in annual sales, or you're a large chain doing multi-million in annual growth sales. It, it, it scales, it's flexible, you know, it's used at um, a lot of golf courses and a lot of government entities because it's great for them. Um, and I've worked with quite a few of those across the country as well. And I should note, the company that I worked for went out of business in fall of September, or fall of 2013. So these videos, my blog site is just kind of a hobby. But I'll put my contact information up there at the end of the, the video. So if you do want to contact me for some free help or advice, I'm more than happy to do that as time allows. So the other thing I want to bring up on the Microsoft solution, because of course this is coming up, is that um, Microsoft has announced that the program will be going away. Um, you know, you can tell just by looking at the point of sale screen here, this is fairly dated in you know, how it looks compared to other solutions that are on the market. It's still a great solution. It will still be available through July of 2016. And the other thing is for folks who still buy it and use Microsoft RMS or for the 60,000 plus existing stores that already have RMS, there will be a migration path. If you are current on your annual software maintenance agreement, that's that two or three or four hundred bucks you pay each year to get the uh, all the updates and patches and fixes to the software. And it's most likely looking like you will get the option to trade up to Dynamics AX for Microsoft or for a new solution from Microsoft called um, Retail Essentials or Dynamics Retail Essentials which looks like it's going to target kind of the, the single location users of RMS while uh, Dynamics AX point of sale is more for uh, larger multi-location businesses. So uh, again, it's just a great solution to work with. Um, folks have been really happy with it. It's just, it, it's getting dated. It, it needs to be uh, refreshed and needs to have a lot of the other things added. You know, I won't show it on here, but there is a, a touch screen menu and that even is very um, outdated looking compared to uh, what's out there on the market today. Um, I'm not gonna cover HQ in this video just because that, that gets even more complex. So I'm just gonna cover point of sale in this video and then I'll do a separate video that shows the back office or the manager part of the Microsoft RMS solution. And that's the other reason I think why my, this program has become so popular over the last, you know, 12 years, is that Microsoft only charges you know, a license fee for the point of sale module. And that's what goes on the lanes or the checkout computers, computers that are doing selling functions. So in theory, if you just need one computer up front to do the selling, you just have to buy a single user license. Because the management part of the software, where you do your purchasing, your receiving, your reporting, your accounting, can then be installed on up to uh, four additional computers at no cost. So 
compared to Counterpoint and Retail Pro and General Store and Comcast and all those others, I think Microsoft really was pretty creative in not only putting together a great package or a great solution, but also giving them some cost advantage. And just to let you know how long I've been doing this, I actually worked with um, Quixel 2000 before they were acquired by Microsoft. So, uh, yeah, anyway. So this is the point of sale screen. I'm just going to hit the highlights. Again, some of the key things I like, um, you do have some places for some customized buttons, depending on what you need. Uh, you know, if you're in a museum, you could put admissions or if you have other uh, special things. And then you also have this nice uh, cheat sheet across the bottom. So if you forget what to do, you've always got a little cheat sheet to a reference. And then if I hold down different buttons, it changes the, uh, the functionality of what the, uh, the function keys do. And you can even uh, program macros on here too. You want to get real fancy, which saves some, uh, some key steps. So basically, Microsoft, really easy to train on this part of the software. It takes maybe about uh, 15 minutes for someone to be comfortable. And I can say that firsthand, having worked with people who are 20 years old and folks who are 80 years old. So the first thing we're going to do, if you track customers, is this you want to pick your, uh, your customer. And then you normally scan the items. I don't have a scanner, so I'm just going to select an item. You also see how quick the software is. You know, when I do demos and show folks like um, oh, NCR Counterpoint, and it takes time for it to bring something up or look up a customer, where Microsoft RMS is a lot quicker. Um, so it's very suitable for high volume businesses, you know, like beer, wine, convenience stores, that sort of environment. So we can bring up our item and then we tender the sale. So, I, I mean, that's it as far as training someone how to ring a transaction. And if you don't look up, if you don't track customer information, then that option doesn't need to be on there. Then it's just scan and tender. So, again, very quick, very easy. Uh, just to give you an idea, let's go back to uh, customer information, just to give you a better idea of, of what that looks like as far as the sorts of uh, the information that you can track about each customer. Uh, starts with just basically, you know, the standard name, address, account number stuff. You can have multiple shipping addresses. You do ship items. You've got a bunch of different options. You know, you have their picture, if they're tax exempt, if they're an employee. Um, you have different pricing levels. So if they're a wholesale customer, preferred customer, things like that. You have um, that option. You can customize all these fields. So if you want to track different um, attributes about each customer, you know, maybe if they're a member or their birthday or things like that. Uh, you can extend lines of credit, which can be either a house account or true accounts receivable, meaning you charge um, finance charges. And you have that ability. And what's really cool, too, is you can look up their purchase history. So if they come in and say, hey, I uh, was in last year and uh, bought this really cool box of Kleenex. can't remember what it was. Can you tell me what I got? Well, I can look at their history and see actually what they purchased. In fact, I can even bring up their receipt, electronic version. Uh, that's also handy for returns and things like that. So... Again, just a really great program, if not for the fact that it, it's dated at this point. Um, same on the inventory side of things. Again, without getting into too much detail, we've got some great options here as far as our good old box Kleenex, including an extended description, our barcode, of course, cost price, department and categories, pricing, you know, it even supports the third digit for gasoline sales. We've got options for what's on hand and then doing the key reorder. 
information. So I know that when I get down to five clean boxes of Kleenex, the system needs to tell me I need to order 10. We can have multiple suppliers for each item. That's great. You know, if your primary supplier is out of stock or you want to compare pricing from different suppliers or vendors, you can do that. We've got all these different pricing levels. You know, I've worked with folks where they want you know, a retail price, a preferred customer price, a military price, a wholesale price. We've got all these different um, options. And again, you know, I could spend an hour going through this, but it wouldn't make sense and it'd be kind of boring if it doesn't apply to you. Um, you know, we've got the grab and grab bin, mix and match pricing, uh, different pricing levels. We can do commissions if you pay your staff that way. We have aliases, so if one item has multiple different part numbers associated with it, like a vendor number, manufacturer number, we can put that in there. Substitute items, if something's not available, you know, say you're out of a particular coat, you can say, well, this one's out of stock, but we have this coat from this manufacturer, and it's very similar. So at least if someone's in your business, they're not leaving empty-handed. Um, again, this just gets so in-depth, um, food stamps, when something's completely no longer available, we can make it in in inactive, and we can even put items on sale um, by just setting a date range. That doesn't have to be by individual item, you can do it by whole department or category or the whole store. So if you have your, um, you know, your back to school sale, you can put everything at 10% off. It'll change the pricing when the sale starts and change the pricing back when the sale's over. Um, again, there's lots of other things. I don't want to get uh, too far into this without knowing what you might have for specific questions or knowing more about your business. But again, just want to give you kind of my personal experience with the software over the last um I've been doing this for 15 years, worked with this program since it came out in the early 2000s. And then also wanted to um, promise my contact information here. So that's my blog site and my contact information. If you need some help or free advice or have some questions answered, that's how to reach me. Thanks.